we're going to be talking about how to perfectly every single time, no doubt, if you do it this way, it's called ETTR, exposed to the right. If you do it this way, you will get the perfect exposure for Cine 2, Cine 4, S Log 2, S Log 3, I don't use S Log 3, and my favorite, HLG 3. Let's go. Let's get started. Oh, I'm just gonna auto white balance this in post. Done. Uh, I think it's very important that you learn how to assign hot keys or easy shortcut keys on your camera. My favorite ones are C1, C2, and the one, I forgot what it's called. I'm gonna check the camera really quick. C1, C2, and C3 I use all the time. So C3 is APS-C mode. I don't like changing my lenses too much because I have an OCD of changing the lens and the dust gets in there. Sit there for, God damn it. You don't wanna sit there for 10, 20 minutes changing your lens or getting dirt in there. And what if you're changing it and then a giant piece of dirt hits your sensor and now you're recording and you have a giant circle black spot somewhere over here. Uh, this is not a black spot, that is my sprinkler. So C3 is APS-C mode. I'm gonna show you how to do that soon. Uh, C2, how to set a C2 um, is Calvin temperature. So I never do auto white balance. I'll always set my Kelvin temperature every time before I shoot. I set it today, I'll always set it, period. So that's very important. And I think C1, uh, you should put zebras. Because sometimes I'll go from S-Log2 to Cine4 to uh, HLG3. And Cine4 and HLG3 both have the same zebra settings to expose to the right, ETTR but S-Log2 does not. Uh, I'm gonna show you that right now. You wanna set your lower limits to 95 for HLG3, Cine4, and Cine2. 95 is perfect. And you're gonna expose, leave your zebras on until you start seeing the zebras. Never ever put zebras on your skin tones. You don't ever want the face overexposed and lost completely. So when you are exposing to the right, ETTR, if you are shooting at a window, that window right now is overexposed, as well as this. But my face does not have a single zebra line on it. I'm using the Atomos Ninja 5, so I could see zebras, but I don't. it doesn't embed them into the video, so I can't show them to you. However, I'm gonna leave my screen recording of the overexposed and underexposed to show you that when you do have your zebras activated on your camera, and even if you don't have an Atomos Ninja recorder, use the eye view viewfinder. When you're exposing, expose com completely to the right until your subject has no zebras on it. So the outside or something else could have zebras on it, but you want to be just under the zebras. So right when the zebras disappear, that's perfectly exposed to the right. When you do act, put the HLG3 LUTs that I have linked in this video, I'm gonna put a card up right now. Just go in there, there's nine free LUTs for you to watch and download, whatever you wanna do. If you expose the HLG properly, and if you use my HLG3 picture profile settings in this card, you will have a really banging image. Like it's gonna look awesome. As well as when you do create a picture profile, either Matthew James or Cody Blues or Gerald Undunes or just the Leeming Lut, uh, whatever picture profile you use, if you use this method where you're exposing to the right, you're activating your zebras and you watch your zebras, with the proper um, color temperature, you will get the best image every single time. There is no doubt. You're going out to a shoot, it's sunny, your model is completely, uh, the sun is behind him. You wanna expose for the model and let the sun blow out. So you activate your zebras, you're using HLG3, you want it to be at 95 plus, lower limit, 95 plus. You keep exposing until you see zero zebras on her or on him. And boom, when you activate your HLG profile or you put a LUT in that's made for an HLG picture profile, it's going to be so awesome. When you're exposing for 
the one reason why I don't expose an S log is because it has that higher ISO. Um, Cine 4 and HLG3 use 200 or less, and you have much more wiggle room at nighttime when you are shooting a scene where you have your own lights going on. You have much more ability to increase that ISO if you need to, which I normally don't. Uh, even though Sony's are well known for their low light capabilities, I try to keep mine underneath 8,000, which you, you would think it probably would be completely destroyed. It's not, it's, it's still good, but I avoid it unless it's an emergency. Exposed to the right, ETTR. I'm gonna put down Leeming Lutz's explanation of what that means. Watch it, please. I am not that educated or well, I'm not a good teacher but I think I can bring resources for you guys to use and that's what I'm gonna do from now on. Gerald and Dunn will explain how to use your white balance correctly with a gray card, which I recommend buying at Best Buy. Um, it's like $11 or at B&H for $3. Then, if you do buy the Leeming Lutz, it will change your game forever. Go to their website, I'll put that in the link. But the conclusion is, Expose properly. It's a game changer. And also buy the Leeming Lutz that I'm going to link, link down. It's $25, but oh my God, it's crazy. Um, if you want my image, like if you like my image. Um, thank you so much. Subscribe, 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 and peace.